welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you are returning to my channel and you're confused by the title, I'm going to address those concerns. But before I do that, uh, if you are new here, thank you so much for watching and I really hope you enjoy this. Uh, today's video is different from my previous content because I'm tired of fighting the fact that I have more than one interest and YouTube likes to... Batty. <laughs> YouTube likes to put people in a box and I have never been the type of person that liked to be in a box. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I have always kind of been a fashion girly, but interiors have been something I've been passionate about my whole life. I mean, both, both of these things have been big parts of my life for many years. So for me to like, exclusively provide interior design content is just like a little bit stale for me and I don't know I just wanted to try something new if if it blows up in my face maybe I'll never do it again but I just think it'd be fun to show you what I've been wearing lately I've honestly surprised myself I feel like my style has changed so much in the last honestly probably year or so and I don't know if it's like because I'm married <laughs> I really don't want to like blame the fact that it's because I got married but I just feel like I've always been a real big proponent of sustainability and specifically sustainable fashion obviously sustainable interior design is kind of like my whole MO but um you know sustainable Fashion has been like a really big part of my life. I used to own a vintage company for four years and so uh, Now my sustainability outlook has changed from just always buying vintage which I absolutely love to buy vintage but I bought a lot of vintage when my fashion style was like really eccentric and colorful and different and um, and now I feel like I'm leaning a little bit more into like a capsule wardrobe vibe. So we're in the depths of winter and I find myself basically wearing the same combinations of things all of the time. And anyways, that's what this video is going to be basically what I've been wearing lately starting with what I'm wearing today which I'll show you in more detail and I will link everything as much as possible in the description so that if you would like to shop you can aren't we all just trying to fill voids or something and that's why we love shopping okay didn't mean to take a dark turn let's just let's get started so lately I've just been pretty much enjoying wearing some pair of denim that's really nice shrimpy a really nice pair of denim and probably honestly a sweater so I'm just gonna break it down I guess my glasses are new they're from Warby Parker I have previously bought Warby Parker glasses I really liked them so I got kind of an updated frame I wanted something that like if I wanted to wear glasses to go out at night I could like slick my hair back and still feel chic so that's why I went with something a little bit bigger honestly it's weird because I think that they looked better on me in the store I'll insert the photo of my try on in the store and I don't know if like they need to be adjusted like the as I call them like the kickstands <laughs> if they need to be adjusted or something because probably the ones in the store are like a little bit more worn out. Anyways, I'm getting carried away. This is kind of my everyday jewelry. Um, I basically only wear these earrings and I have since I got them, since my wedding. So these are from Second Wind. Um, oh, I'm not even like literally showing you. They're from Second Wind. They're just like a little hoop, but they came with a little pearl drop. 
um, so I can like dress them up at night and just put the pearl on but otherwise I just think they're like the perfect um, baby hoop because they're a little bit thicker too this necklace I don't actually wear every day this one up here it was my aunt's it's vintage and I'm borrowing it from my mother so honestly I'm supposed to give it back to her but I took it home with me by accident and I'm enjoying wearing it but anyways moving on this is Masoma London I'm 90% positive that it's the um, Lucy Williams collection and I just really love this chain detail and the malachite stone okay yeah I don't wear my engagement ring in the winter because it snags on all my sweaters <laughs> so I've just been wearing my wedding band um, and it's from Tiffany's okay t-shirt basic t-shirt it's from Parade it's really soft I am wearing the matching underwear right now but I'm not going to show you <laughs> Um, and it's just like, it's really thin, it's really cozy, um, and it's just like a good Heather Gray t-shirt. My cardigan is, bear with me, Bomb and for Garden, or what is it? Can you read it? I'm going to put the, uh. The brand in the description and maybe like right here but anyways they're a Copenhagen brand so it's just like a good semi Breton stripe um I think it's wool yeah wool alpaca little cropped sweater cardigan and then um I'm just wearing my favorite pair of my only pair of Everlane jeans they're like a nice wide leg I bought them a size up because I wanted them to to fit me more like on the hip like a little bit more of a low rise situation mid rise I guess I should say because it's definitely not low rise um, and Adidas Sambas because now I'm that girl um, and then uh, for a jacket, um, I'll probably wear this jacket. Well, I definitely did wear this jacket today. Um, it's, believe it or not, from Abercrombie & Fitch. Uh, but then I recently saw that Totem has like, sells the exact same jacket. So I was like, I'm so glad that I bought, this was like originally $180 and I got it for 50% off. So that was pretty cool. Um, I just, I wasn't looking for it, but I saw it in the store and uh, my friend talked me into getting it. Anyways, it's actually, you probably can't really tell, but um, it is a navy blue. Let me try to get in the sunshine. Can you tell that it's navy and not black? I don't know if you can even tell. But that was kind of like a detail that I was excited about. And then these are my sunglasses. Can you see anything? Is it going to focus? These are my sunglasses that I just got from Warby Parker as well. They have my prescription in them. So this would be full ensemble for walking Lucy in the morning, most likely. I mean, it's what I wore this morning. And then if it's a little bit of a lighter day, and by lighter day, I mean warmer day. Um, I'll probably just do a, sorry, my collar, um, a little denim on denim look. This is a vintage, ooh, my AirPods. I was wondering where those went. <laughs> I keep losing them. Um, this is a vintage Marlboro jacket. Marlboro Country Store country store so yeah that's pretty much it for outfit number one one and a half I guess just one depending on the weather which jacket I would wear but okay this is pretty much an everyday look for me I I'd say I wear something similar to this 
almost every day. <laughs> um, slick back of the bun, so I feel like that girl, you know? Pretend I did a really good job. Pretend that my bun is super slicked and chic and I didn't just throw it up in five seconds for the sake of this video. Um, my t-shirt is just a plain white t-shirt from Uniqlo. This is my new favorite sweater. It's a cashmere sweater from J. Crew that I just got that I've basically been living in. It's actually a men's sweater because I wanted something a little bit looser and I like how thin it is because it like lays really nice and doesn't like make me look too boxy like I still have like a feminine look if you can even really tell I'm sorry if you can't um my very dirty right now need to be washed vintage Levi's I got these from Etsy um but I will put like the information in the description or on the screen or something but I ended up my normal my normal denim size is like a 26 it really depends I mean at at Levi's like at the store I can go down to a 24 sometimes so it really just depends but I wanted a looser fit I wanted to be able to wear them low so these are a 32 I believe so they sit real nice on my hips and low. Here's the back. Forgot to show you that with the Everlane jeans, sorry. And like Levi length is really hard for me to find too. So I knew that if I bought these to wear them low instead of wearing them up on my waist, that they would be a good length for me because I think that they're like a, like a 29 inseam or something like that. But like I have some crotch happening. <laughs> like they, they don't sit up close to me if that makes sense um once again the sambas and um honestly i would wear either my abercrombie jacket or my wool coat but for the sake of changing it up this kind of elevates the look a little bit by having a long wool coat instead of wearing just like a like the Abercrombie jacket, for example, um, and it's vintage. It's, I think, literally a men's. And I searched high and low for one, and basically it found me, to be honest. And, uh, cause I really wanted something very long because I'm quite tall, I am 5'10". So I wanted something that would actually be kind of long on me. I could have honestly held out for something a little bit longer, but, um, Maybe that seems silly to a viewer because it probably looks really long, but um, yeah, I, I literally could have gone with something that was like closer to a duster length. Um, and I probably would just throw on a tote, my Muji tote. My bag collection is a little lacking right now. I'm trying to find the perfect bag, in my opinion. I want something that is a little more stylish, possibly leather, that will fit my agenda in it. Uh, and I have quite a large agenda. I'll show you. It's the GM agenda from Louis Vuitton. Thank you, mom. My mommy gave it to me. Like, so if I wanna like go to a coffee shop or something, I essentially have to bring a tote, which I'm fine with. Like I like, you know, I think I'm vibing, but Otherwise, I only have very small bags. So, anyways, I'm gonna move on to another look. Now you can definitely kind of see how tall I am because this is my pendant, pendant light. Okay, so this is an outfit that I have and definitely would wear again. Just like a nice evening look. Uh, ditch the glasses to, um, you know, feel my best. <laughs> Uh, I would definitely pare down to just my Masoma London necklace. This square neck, long sleeve, ribbed black top is from Mango, as well as these jeans. To be honest, I specifically bought these jeans to be able to wear them with my tabbies. Very controversial 
clothing and accessory, but I love them. <laughs> They're very comfortable. No outfit is complete without perfume, and this is definitely my favorite for evening time. It's really smoky, and it's it gives, like, are you wearing some sort of La Labo without the price tag? These are, this was, I believe, $100, and it's lasting me a good bit, and also lasts on your body if you know how to apply fragrance well. People complain about the Margiela fragrances not lasting, but I find that mine always last even through to the next day. As long as you dab your wrists, and then I literally will dab, I don't spray directly on my neck, but I'll dab onto my neck. That's what I, okay, all right, moving on. Um, and then I added this bracelet from Second Wind. And probably would still just wear my black trench, black wool coat. I'll put it on for you. And that's pretty much the full look. Honestly, I haven't been wearing too many purses lately. If I, what I wore when I wore this to dinner last week was just this thrifted 90s baguette. So the shoulders are so big on this coat, it's kind of hard to keep a purse up. So honestly, I'd rather just throw my wallet in my pocket. Apologies if that feels incomplete to you, but um, I feel like this is the accessory that takes the cake anyways. So I feel really nice in this. It's like a little minimal all black look. I feel like the, the, the tabbies really elevate a simple look like this in my opinion. Okay, moving on. Okay, so, uh, sorry, I got distracted, Elliot came home, I started cooking, moving on. <laughs> this is kind of just like a basic outfit for lounging around at home. Um, I have the same J. Crew cashmere men's crew neck sweater. This is just a thrifted men's shirt. Don't really know what else to say about it. Um, these trousers are from Mango. And I'll show them to you. They're like a high-waisted, actually like fitted, nice uh, trouser, but uh, I kind of like to wear them as if they're not fitted. <laughs> so I like to like put a baggier shirt over it so I'm just kind of like all Lucy goosey baby. Um, and these are my super old Ugg slippers that my brother and his wife had given me for Christmas a few years ago. Like probably, oh my gosh, probably five or six years ago. Um, but if I need to bop out for something, you know, I'm wearing La Samba's. I really like how long these are on me. It's really hard for me to find long pants. Um because I think I've mentioned my inseam is like 35 inches. My inseam is like absolutely ridiculous. So if you're short, you'll hate these pants because they're super long. <laughs> I love having the like little peep too of the stripe on the side. Did I say these are wool trousers? If I didn't, now I did. Uh, again, if I need to pop out, I'd probably just throw on my Abercrombie jacket, put this on properly so I'll do it for you so you can see. I do work from home, so I like to get dressed every day. Um, it makes me feel less depressed. So if I do need to run out, like I'm not gonna put on my wool coat. It's like a little too, as the British might say, smart looking. So like this kind of brings it down a little bit. Obviously the Sambas do too, but that's this look. Uh, so I wanted to give one more sort of evening look. Up close, um, it's so dark. Maybe I should. You can see more detail now. I'm opting to wear my glasses because, well, tonight we are going to see a play. We're going to see Harriet Tubman and uh, I need to be able to see the stage and I haven't sorted out contacts yet, so I'm gonna wear my glasses. This 
is a turtleneck ribbed black from Muji. I believe it's merino wool, I believe. Um, this is just a vintage suit jacket. I do have the matching pants as well. I'm so in London. Vintage or just like thrifted, I guess I really should say. A uh, super old belt that I've had for ages and ages. Um, this is actually not a skirt, but a dress. If you can kind of see. Um, anyway, so I just kind of like tucked. That's why I'm wearing the belt, to be honest, so that it kind of breaks it up and gives the illusion of a skirt. And then these are um, suede over the knee boots from Coach a couple years ago. And they're really comfortable and nice. So yeah, I'm probably gonna wear this tonight to go see the play, so I thought I'd throw it in there. I did wear basically these three items for Christmas too. I probably actually did wear these boots. No, I think I wore my, I don't remember. Christmas Eve, I think, yeah. I wore this underneath though so that you could see the dress detail. So it is something that I've worn semi recently. I just put my original outfit back on so I can be comfy. Um, and let's be honest, I mostly wear my hair like this. So that's it. That's pretty much what I've been wearing recently, what I typically might wear in a week. Every one of those outfits is something that I've worn in some combination of the other. So like I've worn all of those pieces interchangeably with each other. And that's what I think has like kind of been so enjoyable about the way that I've been wearing clothes recently. But at the same time, um, it could just be a phase. So I didn't get rid of any of my clothes um, here and there, just like stuff that I wore too many times, you know, like whatever, just like tired of. Um, but other than that, I, I'm trying to keep my wardrobe because I don't want to like pair back too much and then regret it. So that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Again, everything will be linked in the description as much as possible. And uh, I hope that you enjoyed this little break from interior design content. If you want me to do more stuff like this, let me know. I appreciate that stuff. Also, Lamp Saga. I did get rid of the desk lamp that I bought in last week's video, if you watched that. And I'm having a really hard time finding something. So when I do find something, I will update you. Uh, be sure to follow me on Instagram if you want a more immediate update, but I will update in a video. It just will probably take longer to get to you. But anyways, um, that is all. Thank you so much for watching, and uh, I hope that you're having a lovely day, whatever day that is, and I'll see you next Sunday. Love you, bye.